Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah Elizabeth and today we're going to do another look with the ColourPop Fade into Hue palette. Today we're going for the purple row. This is the first of my one color, one well one column look series. I'm so excited and this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell to see more of my goofy face. I upload every Tuesday and Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And let's just dive right on into this. I'm going to start off with this sequin purple shade called Selfie. You know, I guess I probably don't really need to put, say purple. It's more of a lilac shade and it's really pretty. The little sequins usually fall out with ColourPop's sequin formula. So I'm going to start just building that up a bit in my crease. Bringing that all the way in. I'm unsure how I feel about the little backlighting thing I'm doing here, but I'm trying it out. Everyone says it's so important, but that's something I haven't quite figured out how to do very well. And I'll, I have a kitty outside crying. She doesn't want to be away from me, but like, if she's in here, she likes to go into either the closet or the bathroom and cry because then it echoes. Especially in the bathroom. That is just how she is. So, this is building up very nicely. The sequins are actually staying on fairly well, and I'm not noticing a lot of fallout. Which, that is amazing. It's so beautiful and subtle. Yes, yes, yes. Like, honestly, I could just do like, oh, mm, I guess a little more than that. But, some, something like that and just make sure it's really blended and call it a day. Purple formulas tend to be harder to make, so I applaud them. It, it does take a little bit more blending work, but it, it just give it a little bit of effort and it will pay off. At least from the three shades I've tried. The, I've tried one shimmer, one matte, and one sequin from this formula of ColourPop Purple Shadows in this palette. Okay, with that blended in very nicely, I'm going to grab a different but slightly smaller fluffy brush brush and dip into this majestic shade, which is a beautiful, deeper, vibrant purple. And focus this on the outer portion of my crease and outer, outer corner. I use this shade in other looks as like a liner. This is my third time using this palette, by the way. I'm getting some fallout right in there, but you know, oh, okay. Fallout bugs you, you can always do your eyes first. So far with ColourPop shadows, I've not really had any problem with wiping fallout away very easily. It is a bit powdery. Not that I mind. So make sure to tap your brush off. I'm going to grab a little bit more, plop that on, and go back in with the previous brush to blend it a little bit better. And making sure I'm not going any further than two-thirds inward with my blending. I want to keep that deeper shade closer to that side. I like to keep that inner portion nice, bright, and open. It just really helps open up the eyes and make things look brighter. Placing the shadow is really working while I'm getting a, no fallout that way. Okay. Sometimes it's just trial and error, finding what way works best for you. This is going to feel really ethereal, I feel like, anyway, by the time I'm done with it. Oh, yeah. I should have done it that way from the get-go. Oh my goodness. I really should have. Dang it, Savannah. Should have done it that way. Oh well. You live and you learn, right? That's how it is. Now we're on to the fun part. The shimmers. 
I'm going to grab the deeper shimmer here, which is no oh geez. No Novu, no out. I don't know how to pronounce that. But I'm gonna put that on the outer half. Oh yeah. Look at that shimmer. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. And the formula is just so buttery smooth. All right, whip that finger off and then we're gonna go in with the lightest shimmer, which is Express. Put that on the inner portion and kind of mix it and have it meet right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I loved this shimmer in the past when I've used it. It's so pretty. It is so beautiful, look at that. Okay, now we need to do that bottom. I'm gonna grab a more dense, fluffy, narrow, like kind of a pinched. I think Samantha March said that and I was like, yes, pinched, I like that. I'm gonna grab that light lilac sequin shade again, selfie, and just use that all across the bottom lash line. I don't like to have too much of, you know, a dark color down there again, especially on that inner portion. Don't worry. We still have another shade in this palette that we need to do for purples. Grabbing an angled brush, and this is a, how many ColourPop brushes have I used? One, two, this will be three. Okay, this is the ColourPop E30 angled brush, and I'm gonna grab the deep purple shade, which is, oh gosh, Zeitergeist. There's some names in this palette that I'm just like, the blah, blah. I'm gonna put this against my lashes on the outer half on the upper lid just to make my lashes seem a little thicker and have this act almost as a liner just barely going into where that lighter shade lighter shimmer shade is I guess I should say all the shades are lighter than this purple this is the deepest shade in the palette I'm loving how this looks. I apologize though if I sound at all congested. I am. Allergies are fun. All right, taking what's left on my brush, I'm gonna do a tiny little boop boop against my lashes on the outer part. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of Majestic. That other purple. Just kind of mix those two. Once you have those two kind of placed on top of each other, grab your fluffy brush and blend it together. And make sure to blend it up a little bit. Like up, flick it in. Up, flick it in. Something I like to do. I feel like it just makes everything that tiny little bit more cohesive. I'm feeling, I wish I had a pink liner today, why not? This is the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in Fluffy, $7, and the palette itself was $34. This is my third video with it, so I've got those prices down. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. It adds... Just a little extra something something. For mascara, do I want waterproof? <sighs> no, I'm gonna grab a different mascara. I was going to do waterproof, but like, you know, I'm probably not gonna wear this all day. I'm gonna try and do another video later, so. Let's grab another uh, mascara quick. All right, so here is the finished look. Oh my good, oh, no it's not. I have to put inner corner highlight on. What am I thinking? This is my Wet n Wild 
Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Blossom Glow Pink. It's on my face. Put a little there. Do do. Do 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 do. Right there. There we go. So for mascara, I use the Petite and Pretty Fully Feather Volumizing Mascara on my upper lashes. I like this. It's really nice, actually. I just, I like how my lashes look when I use it. And for my lower lashes, I use the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Lushes in Black Brown. Or Brownish Black. I can't read. It's too tiny on the bottom. You're like, yeah, no, can't read that one. But I do like to keep mascara on the outer portion when it comes to my lower lashes and lighter. For lips. That was a struggle and a half. I'm, I will admit that. I use my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in O Snap as my lip liner. <laughs> then I did the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in 015 Born With It. And topped a little bit in the inner portion and kind of just my lips I use this beautiful shade here it is called 682 blushing pout very beautiful and that concludes the look what do you think any tips tricks you would like to see me try in a future video what color do you think I'm going to do next I would say what do you want me to do next but <laughs> I, 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 that's not going to work out. I'm going to be filming this fairly randomly and just kind of obsessively until I get it done. So those videos will probably all be filmed by the time you see this one. So, ha, -ha I guess. But don't forget to go check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell to see more of my goofy face. Um, also, I understand if you can't comment and if you're watching on TV. I was watching someone earlier and they're like, don't forget to comment, help me in the algorithm. I'm like, you know, I'm watching on TV. I can't really comment. Oh, well, whatever. But if you could comment, that would be amazing and mean a lot to me. And I hope to see you all in my next video. <sighs> I love you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.